here, also known as Airplane Jane. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about starting my latest business and what I need to get done. I want you guys to hold me accountable and be my cheerleaders as well. And if I've forgotten anything, please put it in the comments below because I want to start off with success. All right, if you guys are new to my channel, please go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you'll receive awesome videos just like this one. So it has come to the time to start my next business. Well, you guys heard me talk about it this summer, about my jalapeno hot sauce. I've got my green shirt on, all about jalapenos, ready to rock this hot sauce market. Have I ever done a hot sauce before? No. I did open a wholesale pastry business uh, back in, I wanna say it was about 2008 when I started my wholesale pastry business, and it was based in Philadelphia where I did sell pastries to coffee shops and restaurants that did not have a pastry chef on staff. It did really well, but it came to a point where I was ready to expand or I had to shut it down because it was just too much on my shoulders. And at that point in life, I was not ready to go ahead and grow and expand. Personally, I hadn't done enough personal development and I didn't know enough about business at that point in time to go ahead and succeed. You know, I feel like the big dogs of the business world would have eaten me up. And now I am prepared, I am ready to rock this. And I want you guys to be with me along in this journey so you can see and hear all about the pitfalls and the successes that I will have with this new business venture. So. I have to give a shout out to my friend Adrian. We were at his house eating some of the hot sauce and he came up with my brand name, which I absolutely love, From Jane's Kitchen. Because he's like, this is the hot sauce from Jane's Kitchen. I was like, oh my God, I love it. Adrian, that's awesome. So he is the official winner of a case of hot sauce once it comes to market. Now, as far as the actual name of the hot sauce, I'm gonna keep that secret until we release it. But I will let you guys know as soon as we are ready to bring it to market. So I did do some research and I have a checklist of what we need to make happen in order to bring this to market. It's not as simple as, hey, I've got this recipe, I need to go ahead and sell this. We have some logistics that we have to work on in making this happen. So first of all, setting up the business, right? I did mention this in my other video as starting a business as an entrepreneur, having that roadmap for success. So gotta do all the legal stuff first, protect myself, right? Going ahead, setting up the business, seeing what I need to do as far as food and agriculture. I've got a big dream, right? I'm in Canada now, but I wanna sell this globally especially to the US. So many friends of mine in the US want to go ahead and buy some. So what do I need to do in order to have it cross the border to make sure that it is legally sound? Need to talk to most likely a commercial kitchen to go ahead and utilize their space. Now, as someone just starting off, right? I mentioned that three, six, nine months, 12 months timeline. Initially, I'm going to need to have a kitchen commercial kitchen to go ahead and produce this in because it needs to have that seal of approval. I know when I was back in Philadelphia, I had to have my kitchen certified by the city in order to go ahead and produce commercial goods. So same thing, I would need to work in a commercial kitchen and then maybe potentially down the line end up owning a production facility, which I could definitely see happening. Uh, as far as the timeline for that, to happen, I'm not sure how quickly that could happen. But you need to set yourself up for expansion from day one. Many new businesses fail because they have not set up that timeline for expansion from the beginning. So you need to be prepared of where you are going to go, who you're gonna to talk to, to find that real estate that you might need to expand your business. Set everything up from day one. That way, if you go ahead and you exceed your goals, maybe it's gonna be three months down the line, I'm gonna say, hey, 
Thank goodness I did this in the beginning. All right, it's now Christmas time and I need to go ahead and find my own kitchen. Well, I got my buddy, Angelo Kiotis. He is the number one real estate guy for Remark in Montreal. If you guys are in Montreal, check him out. He can take care of all of your real estate needs. So you can see I've already thought about this before I've even opened it up. And my go-to guy for my legal aspects right now is going to be Jamie Benizri. He's going to go ahead and do all of my legal work to start off this business. All right. So set yourself up for that success. We've got to set up a UPC symbol. All right. I looked that up. I already checked the US Patent Office to see if the name exists. Check. Done. I already own the website from janeskitchen.com. In case you were wondering, before I went ahead and announced the name, I was smart. I bought the .com address. Sorry, it's already taken. Go ahead and figure out a marketing strategy. How are you going to make this happen? I have big dreams of also giving you guys promotional material, t-shirts and hats as well, because I want you guys to also help me in this promotion business. So if you are in, on the promotion aspect, please put it in the comments below. If you want me to notify you of when the hot sauce is available, you can sign up in the email list down below and I will go ahead and shoot you on an email saying, hey, it's ready to be sold. If you have an idea for how you think I could market it, please let me know. I'm willing to take ideas in and see if there's anything that I have forgotten. So again, got to get the legal aspect done, the production facility, the patenting, the distribution. Got to work on distribution in talking to local stores. Initially, it will likely be online and then it will expand from there because actually selling business to consumer is always going to be more profitable than business to business because business to business, they want the wholesale rate. So I got to actually figure out a wholesale rate. I didn't think of that until now, but I've gotten a lot of it done and I haven't even started the business, right? So once it's up and running, then it should run more smoothly because I've done all that prep work, the planning before actually opening the doors. There's a lot of like a good trade. There's a lot of work that happens beforehand. Once you enter into the market with your product, you want to already have all of that work done. When you enter into a trade, you want to have all of that work behind you. And then it's a quick, Hey, yes, this is going well. Okay. No, we need to change this. We need to change that. I've got to create the logo. Forgot that. And I have this really cool idea that I want to create a little plush stuffed animal from the logo. I might only do one. The visual that I have for the logo, I think would turn into a really cute little plush doll. So, you guys will see. I will keep you in the loop. So thank you for watching. If you have any ideas or if you think that I've missed anything, marketing ideas, anything like that, please put it in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback and I will keep you in the loop. Progress report next month as to how it's going. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.